Arthur Joe, he's our man, Arthur Joe. Maybe some of that, yeah. Hey guys, welcome to another OJ's Bad Movie Review. It's been a while, you guys have been asking for it, and I decided to put these guys through another one of my movies. Why did you put OJ on that side again? Anytime I see OJ on that side, it feels wrong. And I know something wrong is about to happen. What did you put us through? What, what film did you put us through today? I put these Tell guys them. through one of these trauma movies, which uh, include uh, Toxic Avengers, a class of Newcomb High, Trome, uh, Tromeo and Juliet. But this one was Frankenhooker. <laughs> exactly what it sounds got- like. <laughs> Frankenhooker. Okay, I got to admit, I was intrigued when when you hear a that title side. like Frankenhooker that, that's intriguing. This You know it's going to be traf- trashy. You know it's going to be uh, yeah, bad. Uh, it's what a kind of liquid film. do you have in there, Alan? Uh, don't worry about it. A little bit of vodka. <laughs> a little vodka. A little... Um, <laughs> Yes, thank you for doing this to me, Joe. I mean, outside of these, you probably I don't would watch, never see it. I don't watch these films, and you're missing out on <laughs> such classics as these. Yeah, I don't know, but now actually, it was kind of fun uh, watching it with you guys. I mean, it was incredibly awkward since there were so many fucking uh, tits and and Again, titties and ass. When and B elbows. movies <clears throat> come out, yes, there's you're a like, lot of nudity. I guess mm-hmm. it's like it's watching. Why he likes a, them. <laughs> It's like watching a softcore porn with your friends. And I'm like, all right. Uh, all right. <laughs> Thank you, this Joe. So, man, you got to check this out this movie, bad. dude. <laughs> <laughs> Go well, ahead. The summary for Frankenhooker is yeah. uh, uh, mad scientist loses his girlfriend by a tragic accident. What kind of accident? A lawnmower an accident. <laughs> lawnmower so be careful accident. careful with that. Lawnmowers. Uh-huh. So Automatic he's, lawnmowers. He's, such in, he's so in love with his his fiance mm-hmm. that he goes to the red light district and tries to find random parts to rebuild his love of his life. <laughs> and this is where crazy shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what did I you guys think, think? What did I think? Go, go, go. Go, Alex. Um... Of all the movies that I've seen this year, this is certainly one of them. Um, <laughs> it was... Look, I've watched a lot of bad movies with OJ. If you let OJ come over to your house and you're not supervising him, he will grab the remote and he'll put on, like, Birdemic. And, Birdemic uh, is amazing. Lamageddon is what he put on last time. Uh, and he killed any mood that was... Like, any good times <laughs> around and having... <laughs> And so this, I, I've seen some really bad ones, and I've also seen some pretty good ones. I was surprised how good, oh, look, on the OJ scale, I was surprised how good some of the things were. There were so many practical yeah. effects. Yes, that's there what I love about this one. explosions. It's colorful. Rid- ridiculous sets. Now, there was an insane amount of naked ladies and weird situations that Which made Which is it. not a bad thing. Well, yeah. Not a uh, bad thing. He was trying to build his perfect woman. He needs a he, perfect parts, yeah, Alex. You got to check yeah. out the merchandise before you put together <laughs> exactly. a perfect woman, right? Yeah. So it was better than I expected. Hey. hey. That's good. Wow. <laughs> and I'm surprised you guys didn't have uh, too much to drink. Yeah. No. Usually, I, uh, I, usually these kind of entail mm-hmm. some kind of cocktail. Yeah. No, no, today th- we had a bunch of Taco Bell. We haven't had Taco uh, Bell. Yeah, different kind of poison in your body. So uh, <laughs> before, <laughs> we all had bathroom breaks <laughs> before we came. Um, no, so uh, trauma films, I think, I what I assume is that trauma films are like the shining gem amongst these types of films that you watch. Like these other types of films that people get a fucking camera and they get, you know, fake blood syrup and shit and crappy props. They're living up their fans like of Avalanche. trauma films. Yeah. So <laughs> so this would be what would you say? Like the gold star or the Disney of these types of films is the way I'm Just thinking. Hit and of miss, it. Yeah. yeah. So um it's the brown standard. It uh yeah. And so it was of good quality. I'm I'm surprised I'm saying this, but I was entertained. Uh, I have some issues, but if you go to a film called Frankenhooker, there's certain expectations that need to be met. 
And all of those expectations were, in fact, met uh, and, and actually exceeded in some spots. So there are uh, exploding hookers. There Current are effects of the fireworks are great. The, I was impressed by like several that. of the yeah. transitions the guinea, the and guinea explosions. Just ex <laughs> pulled into four different pieces as Amazing. he's experimenting with super crack. Super crack. Super crack. Super crack. Exploding uh, hookers. And Franken, this one I don't want to spoil. Franken, well, until we get to a separate sex. I, it's your video, Joe, but there's a. Frankenhooker has a double meaning in in this uh, film, and I thought the payoff was was quite interesting and and gross. So gross. I gotta say I was entertained. Yeah. See, you wouldn't have uh, really <laughs> checked out this film in no. forever. No, no. <laughs> it does not make up for Birdemic. Birdemic was just a different one. That's uh, mm -mm. it's different. Joe, why do you watch these films? <laughs> Um, I love these films because somebody had a crazy mind and direction. It's like, hey, yeah. check out this story and let's put this on film. Mm -hmm. And it's just so chaotic. You just have to watch it. It's like, what is going on through their mind? And actually, this is better than some of the stuff that's been coming out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So these are like the good old days. Frankenhooker is the good old days of these types of Z-grade films. Yes, especially, <laughs> like, I just love the effects they do. And mm -hmm. it just... You, you can't get this anymore. You watch really? I love it. Some of these movies, you can tell that they have crazy ideas, but they don't, they don't go like the extra mile to make things as good as they could. You could just feel the quality of the sets, and they're they're not expensive. They're doing it in in wildly cheap ways, but they really tried to make a solid movie, yeah, a Z movie, and they were totally successful. Yeah, uh, I was surprised. Uh, the uh, actress here uh, who plays Franken Hooker, um, Patty Mullen, she only has two credits. She's only been in two things ever. And then I guess she had a kid and stopped uh, uh, doing. But she uh, surprisingly was good. She, I mean, I'm not, I mean, bad movie good. She's bad good. Bad, yeah, exactly. Bad these, are, obviously, these aren't going to get you Oscars. No, no, no. <laughs> Zorro She's deserved an Oscar. She Zorro, had some good, good comedy timing. I thought at times her performance was a little annoying as the uh, Franken, you know, Yeah, hooker. they like to go over the top. They go over the top. Yeah. But, uh, you know, when she gets zapped back kind of to normal, I'm like, oh, you know, she actually has some range, and she's got some body comedy going on there. And like you said, a lot of the – you watch these things to kind of see what kind of crazy ideas there are, and there there are certainly some some juicy lines uh, that I really enjoyed in situations, <laughs> uh, so, uh, such as when she becomes the Frankenhooker, and she's in – she, like – immediately goes back to the fucking streets because <laughs> I guess... That's all she knows. I guess he dropped her on her head one time. I don't know if that was going to factor in if he was going to say, what, were you dropped on your head before you were born? And she would have been like, yes. But no, it was kind of like her brain was all the different hookers that he put together uh, that exploded when he <laughs> gave them super crack. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. But No, that makes it sense. It doesn't really make sense. But this doesn't take you too far. To, uh, it doesn't really take you out of you. Like, sure, I buy I'll it. go along with yeah. it. Yeah. So she she returns to you know the the scene uh, that she's familiar with, and eventually gets taken back to I don't know the brothel where where all the hookers are supposed to have sex, and her pimp eventually runs into her, and in the funniest oh, moment yeah. of the film, <laughs> he goes, "What is she? What does he say?" Uh, he says, like, fuck, what did he say? In the bar or which part? Yeah, in, in the bar. Uh, I, I wrote it down. Oh, who the fuck are you? <laughs> this ain't your arm. This is one of my bitches' arms. <laughs> <laughs> and then he punches her Completely knocks her head off. <laughs> fucking falls back, but it doesn't fall off. So it turns into, like, a fucking, you know, lighter thing where you get this fucking... Like a Pez dispenser. Pez dispenser, yeah. A Pez dispenser, great description. And fucking <laughs> electricity is flying everywhere. And they they really zoom in on, on her severed head kind of powering down. And I was like, wow, they're kind of proud of their their uh, practical effects. And they should be. Some of them should. were good. So at the very end, they were incredible. Like, there's... <gasps> yes, I, I'm not, we won't 
won't talk about it yet. But okay. I mean, like at the end, uh, at the end of this movie, this is like the thing level quality of practical effects. But no, way, sir. <laughs> I wouldn't go that this far. This is the Z grade sure. movie. The thing. Okay, got you. Okay, okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Amongst these types of bad movies, this is the thing. The yes. king of, of that. Yeah. Okay, well, let's just do... Uh, would you recommend this? Let's okay. do a final So word. the ratings. How do the ratings work on your show, Joe? Because um, you remember the Angry Joe yeah, show? It's zero we, we through ten. We try to do different ones. We try to do that didn't really work. or something that didn't really work. Because they would always be two or three <laughs> ones. And we're, obviously, we're not grading this as a one to ten and mm-hmm. the normal scale because this is completely different. Right, right. This is completely different. Um, we're gonna do uh, OJ's bad movie reviews. So bad it's good. Okay. <laughs> All right. So bad is good. Uh, so bad it's not even fucking worth it. So bad it's it's just bad. It's just bad. So bad it's this not is, worth it. I think this one should just we'll just Two. have three and then we'll have one in the middle. I'll okay. Try to decide on that one because it's gonna vary. Okay. Yeah. Make them as unique as every uh, film. That we watch because this was quite unique. Okay, well, this one's a hook and good time. A hook and good <laughs> So bad it's a hook and good time. I like it. Okay, so three ratings. Yes. Um, with so bad it's good being like a recommendation. Yes. Huh. And okay, uh, who? A hook and good time is like you need to go out and watch A this. hook and good time. <laughs> <laughs> you must go well, out. I want to give it a hook and good time then. All right, I'll go first. Uh, this is, I'll, I'll tell you. Um, Okay, I feel like I need to talk about it just a little bit more. Um, I really, I actually surprisingly like this one, and I am going to give it a recommendation. So I'm going to give it So Bad It's Good, um, but with the caveat that the main character talks to himself so much (laughs) And it gets on my fucking nerves. Mad this is why I know, but this is why Frankenstein actually had an assistant. This is why you need a Renfield or something like that. Because Igor. I hated Igor exactly. It, it just constantly talking to him. I get it a few times, but no, it is this fo- film is hours of him talking to himself. I, I, I'm dying to get to the next scene with Frank and Hooker <laughs> or with the yeah. fucking pimp. And so that's my main criticism. Otherwise, this thing would g- get way up there. And so I think it's so bad it's good. And you know what, Joe? I even think if this was my movie scale, that this would be an above average. <laughs> it would be better than five. I would probably give it like a six out of ten. But I, on your scale... So, so bad, it's a hook and good time. All right. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was surprised by this one. I've been subjected to a lot of these movies that, that he's shown me over the years. And this one's towards the top of them. Um, a lot of love went into this. Um, it's awkward. Don't watch it with your mom. I mean, there is, you know, weird. <laughs> there's a lot of titties. But, and there's like that weird a simulated toilet he's sex. He's hookers. In like, but it's like <laughs> fake toilet sex. And there's some weird, there's some weird stuff in this movie. But... If you're a big fan of practical effects and like dark comedies and spoofs, yes. I think this is a pretty good time. So I'm going to say that this is so bad that it's good. Hey! So bad it's good. I agree with these guys. So bad that it's good. I really liked the plot. It was like over the top, cheesy, very campy, but I love the effects. <laughs> I love the, the, the writing on this was pretty. Have you fetched. seen this, Joe, before no, we watched? This, this was one, brand new to you? It. No, That's this cool. one was like one we kind of ran into. But we I've saw a seen T-shirt it. of it two weeks ago. Yeah. And was like, oh. what is this? Like, what is this? This is one we Frank had to check Hooker. out. So uh, with that, and mm. then just like, I think if it would have like just trimmed some of the fat, mm-hmm. cut some of the minutes away, then make it a little bit tighter, yeah. I think this would have raised up a little bit higher. Are you with me that like some of those scenes where I feel like it's spinning its wheels is the guy talking yeah, to yeah. himself? Yeah, yeah. Like just cut, come like, like, cut that stuff out. But yeah. other than that, like it's still... Good time. There's mm-hmm. a fucking plate of titties in the film, and he is choosing the best titties. Titties, the arms, titty plate. everything. <laughs> and I know now. See, I thought the reason why Joe picked this is because for some goddamn reason, the hooker that is used in the brothel, it's the same hooker getting naked every time doing the boob dance. Is a grandma hooker. <laughs> that I, we all know how Joe likes to motor ladies. Nice is that wrinkly. why? <laughs> nice the wrinkle wrangler over there, yeah. The Gross. golden girl hooker there for you, Joe. 
All right. Well, uh, yes. Thank you for putting me through through that. Quite, quite interesting. So, guys, <laughs> you definitely need to check out Frank and Hooker. Uh, it's rec It's recommended by us. OJ for recommended. For a good time. For a good time. If you haven't seen it. Yeah. Uh, sweet. Do you, Joe uh, again? Your show. Do you want to go into details? Yeah, uh, we're like gonna a go spoiler into detail. section. Yeah, let's go into details. Okay. All uh, right. Well, we'll take a break. You guys don't want to see or hear about the spoilers. We recommend that you, because because of these films are so unique, you should watch like watch it yes. before you watch the spoilers. Not with your mom. Don't watch it with your mom. Exactly. <laughs> Myself, maybe. <laughs> Welcome. We're going to have a bigger discussion and talk about the film if you haven't seen it. If you haven't, please go out and watch it before you stick around, all right? Yeah, so uh, wh what is the big reveal that we were talking at the beginning, Joe, where I didn't want to I didn't want to spoil it for people that seen it. Talking about the very the end. double meaning of Frank and Hooker. Frank and Hooker at the very end. Uh, actually, he could only use parts of ladies. Uh, the, the, the estrogen the blood estrogen serum blood only serum works on only women. Works on oh, that's women. right. He's got a big va uh, refrigerator full of pink yeah. liquid. So Zorro <laughs> chops off his head. Frank the jilted pimp uh, chops his head off. And, uh, and he becomes a Frankenhooker. Mm -hmm. no, oh, you're right. Oh, shit. There's a triple meaning. Yeah. So I was like, okay, the Franken hooker, she looks like obviously a hooker with multiple parts. Yeah. But it's not particularly gross. It, she just has purple titty, purple nipples. Uh, she's just got colored like different a, yeah. colors, white, black, Hispanic, things like that. But what I was saying is the real Franken hooker is the one that's in the vat. So as soon as Those he chops ones? off her boyfriend's head, the vat starts to shake. And we saw this earlier that they set up Chekhov's gun mm -hmm. when the lightning strike, because he's Little got this details machine. details like that I like. I was surprised. <laughs> Did you see that? how far that machine went up and took her it up did. into the sky? I was like, this stupid, shitty production is just going to have the lightning come through the house, and that's improbable. No, this motherfucker hits a button, and that shit it's goes like 50 feet in the air. Time. Maybe more than that. Anyway, so the lightning, not only does it hit the top, which then animates her, but it also hits the bottom and the refrigerator. then and then just animates all the shit that's in his vats, uh, which is all the hookers Legs that and exploded. Hands and, and boobs and all those things, and they all merge together Fuse. to make nightmare fuel that of was like a creepy one with a the mouth head with the arms torso boob thing and then there's arm boob boob foot thing and then yeah. there's all these like weird hooker monsters that kill Zoro. They're still addicted to crack. Like, yeah. The oh, crack yeah. at the end. And she goes, <laughs> <laughs> and she, uh, do you have any sticks or stems or whatever? And, uh, but yeah, one of it is a torso upside down. And then the mouth, the the mouth, mouth the was the pelvic area. And you were like, oh, Jesus. I think it was fucking creepy. <laughs> it, it was, but it was creative. And it looked impressive. It looked like a great and practical effect. And that is why Alex said it's it kind of like the Z grade of the thing. Yes. yes. <laughs> Z grade thing. It's amazing. Um, does anybody know why she had a, an affinity for pretzels? Yeah, so th did they ever show that? At the, at the beginning, yeah. he's like, oh, your girl, your fiance is super overweight. Yeah. And they kept saying it over and over and over again. And she's like, she's wearing like a fat suit, yeah, just her butt. She's she's like super yeah, skinny. She looked fine. <laughs> yeah, and she then, looked great. But yeah, she so fine. it's like, oh, she can't stop eating pretzels, and that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was like, uh, maybe I missed that. Um, so yeah. he creates a lawnmower. For his fiance's father for his birthday, mm -hmm. and he's 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 a gene mad genius, and so he had made a little remote control that so he doesn't have to push it, and so she's explaining it, and but she's standing in front of it, and he's like, "Don't stand in front of it," and she turns <laughs> it on, say, "Look, you can turn it on," and then you hit this button, and it goes forward, it's and then oh no, the low. lawnmower. I was expecting to you know see that, but I guess maybe that's not the point of trauma films. No. Uh, you know, I've I've been exposed to some gory ass horror films, and it doesn't really do that. And I kind of like that. It's like a charm, you know, a little charm to it. Uh, but before he show, before she's showing off his automatic lawnmower, 
Uh, her friend is like, oh, man, I'm f- you know, you're getting fat. I'm getting fat. You just let your, your fiancé operate on you. And it's like normal to her. She's like, yeah, of course. He's going to marry me. So, And she's like, does he have any you know, degrees? In, so he got kicked in, out. No, no. It, he's been kicked out of every single one. So it's like, yeah, they're... Apparently, her and her parents are super cool with his grossness. And one thing that did not pay off, that I was hoping they would do a Chekhov gun. Yeah. He was fucking around with a brain at the beginning, trying to get it to follow his finger. It's a brain with an eye inside the brain. Mm -hmm. So, bummer. We never got to... I I thought maybe he'd put it in her head, or it would end up... He'd be... Maybe she would use that on his head, empty head. But no, it never got paid off, so maybe that's a that sequel a nice, that they'll do nice or circle. a prequel that they'll do. Of course, this came out in 1990, so I think I think the, yeah, the, the, yeah, the time on that is, yeah. is finished. But yeah, so eventually uh, he descends into madness when she is uh, uh, killed, and he's talking to himself in his room the whole time. This is fine. But, you know, he didn't have a bunch of scenes of him talking to himself, but he just does it the whole film. It was annoying. But uh, eventually he goes out yeah, looking. this is where I feel like they could have trimmed that out. The movie's like, only move, an hour and 20-something minutes, so they can't trim too much. Like yeah, but it's like 30 before? minutes of yeah, just I know. Exactly. maybe 40. Uh, so he goes looking for a hooker, and uh, and he's like, oh, nice legs. and oh, He's like, you know, trying to I'm pick, looking for the right parts. The right she pulls down her top. She's like, Oh, I got the right parts. I got parts, the right, right parts. All right. Like, whoa, whoa, uh, whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, Joe, did you get a boner? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, so eventually, he meets Z in the most awkward, like fucking dingy, disgusting brothel I've ever seen. And where is Z's office? His office is in the bathroom. Yeah, the, the fucking urinal. He's a man. He's in the men's room. He's, it's where the action's at. Yeah, because people are fucking in there, and then like the door, the like a shitty door keeps f- flying open, and then it c- closes. It's just, it's really weird. Uh, but He's yeah. giving crack out to everyone, and so that's how there's like this weird, like side thing where it's yeah. like the reason that the, the, the hooker problem is so uh, big in the city is the pimps are using crack to keep the women addicted. Mm-hmm. We even see like a news report of a woman trying to like save all of the, the crack whores. Yeah. And that uh, inspires uh, yeah, the, yeah, our scientists. To, he, he decides he wants to control them with super crack. Super and this but super he crack. Still, he still has his moral dilemma. He's like, I don't want to kill people. <clears throat> He's still a nice guy. He's like, well, I feel bad. But then I was like, I just supply them with super crack. Technically, they're <laughs> killing themselves. I'm yeah. just speeding up the process. But when you smoke super crack, it makes you explode, which is You're where just we speeding up the process. Well, the, though, the guinea, he, he blows crack smoke on the guinea pig, and it, expl- <laughs> it's, it explodes into four pieces. When you overdose or something, yeah, or you use too much of it. Mm. Um, yeah. So so eventually. And they chose the perfect pimp guy because he's like this big muscle dude. And he's clearly Hispanic. He's got the thickest fucking accent. I couldn't understand half the shit that he said. (laughs) But when you understood him, it was funny. And I like that. Um, But anyway, so... Not the best acting chops, but it was great for this No, they're all horrible (laughs) actors. Uh, And then basically... He gets them all in a room. He's raiding them, kind of convinces them that he needs to, he wants a bunch of girls because his friend is dying and he's going to put a party together for him. So he's best like, of the best. he's like raiding all these hookers on their parts and they keep showing him like their titties and their <laughs> legs and things like that. And though, to be honest, you know, he's raiding them pretty high. I'm, I'm like, mm, I don't know about these particular <laughs> girls. I mean, there's, a, I guess a few, but whatever. So he's like, hey, it's whatever actresses we could pick up at the time that want to be in a trauma. They're field. willing to get naked. Yeah. Uh, so then uh, the hookers get a little upset with him because they're like, okay, so all you're doing is you're measuring us. Hurry the shit up. You Mm got to pick one of us. And he's like, I I can't pick. I can't pick one of you. And I guess because he wants them all or there's individual body parts on one that he doesn't like on the other. And so then finally they're like, where's the money then? You know? Yeah. And so he's like, you want money? I'm talking about bringing somebody back to life. So he gets all pissed off. And, And again, poor acting, but it's funny poor acting. So he throws it back at them. And the hookers pull out all his money, but then they find all the drugs at the bottom. All the super crazy. All, the, like, all no, his special. Super crazy. Like, no. So then we get a scene of the hookers going fucking crazy, taking huge crack rocks and trying to <laughs> shove them into tiny straws, which don't work. I don't even know how they're smoking the crack. But they start smoking the crack. 
And meanwhile, Z is uh, like fucking getting pissed off downstairs. He's waiting for his hookers. He's like, what's going on? It's taking a long time. And then the greatest fucking sequence of all time in this film happens. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is fucking amazing. He's getting pinned down. Everyone's smoking crack. They're like, oh, I don't feel good. Then all of a sudden, they Smoke just like super crack, the practical yeah. effects, the transition of it. Is yeah. Some are pretty good. good. Some, some pretty of them good. Were, were great. It's fucking some, of, some of them were bad. <laughs> yeah. But you got to have those in you there. You got to have those because <laughs> it's a very campy film. So the explosion, you see, like, it'll pay, look fucking like paper mache, rockets coming out of one fireworks. girl's vagina and tits going this way. <laughs> They're decent. Like, they had the, they custom made these mannequins because they kind of look like the girls are all in the right positions. And the transition is good. Like, one of them goes like this. And then the very the next The best frame, one was the Asian girl. Yeah. Like, yeah. She goes yeah. off to the left and boom, it was like instant. I was and like, they oh, are fuck. exploding. I'm not, like, there's not just, like, lights. Like, they're exploding into pieces. And yeah, it's, and there's no blood. This is just the fireworks. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. not scanners yeah. level <laughs> when that guy's head explodes. But it's still pretty fun. And uh, then Zoro was like, What the hell's going on? Oh, right. He opens the door and then the uh, just chick explodes. Yeah, the main the head girl. just goes forward and hits <laughs> Zoro. Head, yeah, the head but headbutts him and knocks him out. Knocks yeah. him out. It was like, that was a great scene. Yeah. <laughs> so what the, the price of admission right there. Yeah, it was it was great. Especially the flying head, it knocks him out and then uh, and then he he gets up, uh, Jersey Boy gets up, and he uh, starts apologizing to everybody. I'm sorry, and then He's like, I'm going to put all of you back together, but first, this is my, my girl's night. I got to hurry up. And, and so then he's putting all the parts together. We get the scene that's obviously Frankenstein, uh, you know, parodying that. Because mm, like, he had two days before the storm shows up. Mm-hmm. When, yeah, and the storm's here, so he has to hurry up. And then, like, he's he picking from plates of... Titties and bins of legs and and again he's he's choosing <laughs> he's choosing the ones I wouldn't choose and then he's putting it all together and he puts like some goop in between like purple goop to put these things together. It's science, science, purple. And he's goop. welding the. All oh, right, right, and then he mel- welds the purple goop. Um, and then he kisses her or he talks to the head, but he accidentally drops the head. On the, so maybe that's why she was kind of dumb and just spouting hooker lines at the beginning. Then that lightning rod, a pre- impressive effect. Pretty I was like, good. Oh, it's, it's pretty sweet. I was looking at the roof and the contraption. I was like, huh, what would it take for me to actually build that in my house? I don't know why I was thinking <laughs> it or the, the actual set, what they did. So then they put it but there. Um, yeah. And then so the lightning actually animates her. She's already standing when when he lowers the the platform Mm -hmm. and then uh, Frankenhooker wakes up and slaps him because he doesn't have any money. (laughs) For some reason, she's like different color. Yeah. And she only uses lines that the previous hookers have used in in the movie. She only that's she only says things that are previously said. So it's clever, but it can it gets a little annoying, especially when she pushes it really far and she does the funny face. Or you get the lips in the different directions. Stick in shock, maybe. But still I don't know charming. why she kept doing that, but yeah. it was fine. So she picks a fat guy, a, ch- a John. Oh, yeah. She just goes happens? around. She's like, you looking for a good time? You looking for some action? Going around all around uh, New York or yeah. whatever. Mm-hmm. And she's got super strength. So she, she does. And she finally finds this guy, takes her to the room. She's like, oh, do you want to like, what was it, play doctor? And they start messing around. She I guess she starts to have sex with him. Yeah. I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah, I was like, I wasn't too clear on that one. But she starts riding this guy. Then you just see steam from everywhere, and she kisses the guy. And they uh, yeah, she fills his, <laughs> fills him with electricity. Apparently, if you have sex, if you kiss or you penetrate or whatever, Easy. or have sex with her, you're gonna be filled with electricity. And then he blows Die. up, and she rips his head off. And uh, and she goes, that he goes, that was wonderful. So he liked it, but then, but then he died. Then he died. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you think about the costume for Frankenhooker herself? I thought it, I I wish it was a bit better. It's this purple. I didn't mind it. Well, she got purple pointy titties and uh, purple hair. I don't know why. Purple I hair, mean, purple nipples. I mean, traditionally Frankenstein is shown as a big purple suit. So and purple. Uh, what is it? Uh, just you know. Yeah, with the on, big, yeah, with the big ass um, high heels. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she is. She yeah, the Frank, the they're like Frankenstein platform shoes. Yeah. shoes yeah. yeah. But whatever. It looks all. I guess it looks all right. They try to do a little classic. I just thought it would look a little different. But um, yeah, she's just screaming at people and stuff. <laughs> then we go back to the grandma stripper joint, 
And that's that's when uh, she's working hard for her money, by the way. She's like working there nonstop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, because she's like a super amalgamation of 30 hookers, Joseph. So she's working at the rate of 30 hookers, basically. Um, and then then that's when we get the scene of, uh, you know, Z finally kind of recognizing what the fuck is who the fuck are you? Um, yeah. Who the fuck are you? Then you get Wait a minute. This ain't in. your arm. That's my bitch's arm. <laughs> That's one of my bitch's arms. That is a line in the film. This one of my he's good. This is one of my bitch's arms. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> he, punches it for, he knocks her head off. It escalates, increase. It just he goes from that to punching her head off, and then electricity goes everywhere. So then Jersey Boy shows up, put, puts her head back on. Takes her back. Takes uh, her back, tries to fix her. Yeah. Z follows him, though, because he wants to know where his bitches have gone. He wants his bitches back. Yeah. So then uh, we get another scene of him fixing the body. We get the little bolts and mm. little staples uh-huh. here. And he electrocutes her once again. And then she actually becomes Elizabeth. Yeah. I think, did it mean time. that that's what he needed to do? Like, that fixed her? Yes. The yes. bolts fixed her. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that, he, that got fixed. So it's Elizabeth. He's like, oh, where am I? What's going on? It's like, hey, I'm, you're back. I fixed you. You had a little accident. Told her what happened. It's like, this isn't my arm. This isn't what's going but on. But she's proud of him at first because, so you know, she's kind of weird in the sense it's that like she <laughs> supports his mad science. He found a good woman, I guess, that would that uh, tolerates his bullshit. It's like, we need but to tell people. It's like, well, it yeah. only works for females. Yeah. Then we but get she gets Zorro. mad when she notices that it's not her parts. And he's like, well, I couldn't exactly. Yeah, run over by a lawnmore, lady. What's wrong with you? You're all messed up. And then Zora just peeps around the corner, sneaking by, and just <laughs> slices his head off. Yeah. He cuts his head. I was it, you know what's so interesting? Like, you know, when you have those scenes where they telegraph it and they get the knife. And then, you know, he's I like, thought, I thought he was going to get away. Me or too. Stop the, or she was going to stop him or something. And I'm like, no. And I like the fact that this is a trauma film. It's like, no, the main character is gone. He just yep. <laughs> chopped his head Clean right off. off. And he dies. Uh, yeah, then uh, the uh, refrigerator starts moving. And then it just tips over and you get this creepy ass scene. Yeah. With real. all the... The parts have melded parts. together. The real Franken. And then turned into monsters. And the monsters capture Zorro. Mm-hmm. They, just, I don't know if they eat him alive. I don't just know. Just ask... Titties, tips, and bits He's and dead. things, mm-hmm. and just grab him and pull him in there. Just like a blob, They'll probably a meld blob with of him. boobs. Yeah. That's what it was, a blob, blob of, of boobs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it just kept spinning it, around. It, oh, yeah, there's another part that made me, uh, right, they were doing like break dance to hit him or something. <laughs> like, there's another thing that made me laugh because he goes... Uh, when he's standing and these, these boobs grab him, one grabs like his ankle or something, and he's like, oh, shit, what the fuck is this? <laughs> or no, he's like, oh, shit. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> but his thick accent just made me bra- crack up a fucking love him. And then they kill him. Yeah. And but then she and pick, take his drugs. And, and they take, take the his crack, drug. yeah. And or they close the door, but then open the door, grab the drug, and then close the door again. Uh, and then, then the she, next... Yeah. yeah, then the next scene, Elizabeth is waking up. Uh, you get a little waking up scene. It's like, Elizabeth's wake up, wake <laughs> up. Fra- uh, Jeff. So Jeff wakes up. He's like, what's going on? This is in my body. I feel weird. We pan out. He is a woman now. Mm-hmm. He's in a woman's body. <laughs> That's it only right. Works and this was women. a bad effect, you know, mm-hmm. because it his was, head was the like. Real, super his real hand just didn't know what to do, yeah, so it just like kept moving. moving. You know, it was just kind of jiggling. And he looked like like a soft uh, kind of yeah. uh, pl- material, but his head was back in the thing, and it looked a little weird. But I get the effect. I get what they were saying. And she kind of turns it against it. Well, it was only women's parts, and so we just use the women to bring them back alive. And then she turns them into Franken Lady. And, and I guess they live ever after. happily ever after. And then also, they also have their their pet is the thirty hookers, uh, the boob blob. I'll burn that alive. But <laughs> boob blob. So wow, Joe, uh, this was one of you know I I was dreading OJ's bad movie reviews, but shit, if they're as good as this, they are not always. Not always going to be as good as this. I guarantee. Right. (laughs) (laughs) Well, we got a good one. I hope. I hope they're always good as this, because then we can actually make a recommendation to you guys. So hopefully, this was a good one. Oh, you know what? I I wish we would have said in the beginning uh, that this is on Shutter. 
So it's like it's free on Shutter. Uh, I mean, if you have a Shutter subscription, and you should, because we promote Shutter one time. It's like, hey man, check these Shutter. Shutter. I yeah, I, I love. Horror, I still so have my yeah, Shutter because it. I love ho- uh, yeah horror as well. So, anyways, um, cool. So what yeah, else, Joe? That, Is that good? That's it. All right. <laughs> well, thank you guys for checking out another uh, OJ's bad movie reviews, and uh, I will continue looking for some, and we'll yeah. do them. Uh, Whenever we got some extra time. Yeah, this yeah. was uh, our Q and A monthly Q and A. We said we were gonna. They do held it, us so. to task, and they said uh, you said that you would do one in July. So here it is. Hope you guys enjoy, and thank yeah. you, Joe, for hosting it for us. Anytime. Next time I'll bring I some know. more wine. <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay, well, do you do your your sign off, Joe? I don't know what you say at the end. Me neither. So I'll just be generic. Well, thank you guys so much again, and we'll see you on the next Angry Joe show. Bye guys. Bye, guys.